Professor Karl Popper famously said that there is an asymmetry in proof. And basically it's that if you have negative proofs or evidence against a hypothesis, it is powerful. So a single piece of negative evidence conflicting a hypothesis kills the hypothesis. But you can have any number of positive bits of evidence to support the hypothesis and it never really proves it, especially when it's correlational. So rationalground.com, thank you for this, gives us an exemplar, which is Florida, which I've often referred to. And we see that Florida did, in late September, uh, drop the lockdowns, the mask mandates, and also open schools, etc., and businesses. So how did they do? Well, Florida, over the last four months, has beaten the hard lockdown states, including California, which is a similar climatic type region. So great compare. Uh, so Florida has romped home, even though it has a higher elderly population. Okay, so it's an excellent Popperian example of a negative proof that can stand alone. But we have many, many more, including Croatia and Sweden and countless other examples. So we are bristling with negative evidence for lockdown effectiveness. So we'll scroll down here and it's well compiled. We see the total increase in per capita or per year population mortality. Uh, Florida is winning there as well, in spite of having more elderly people, right? So an excellent exemplar. We see that deaths per 100,000 for seniors over 65, they are winning big as well, with no lockdowns, no mask mandates, and pretty much open for business. Percent of students offered in-person instruction uh, versus the rate of pediatric cases. Florida is 100% students offered real schooling and the pediatric cases are the lowest. Look at California, Illinois. Right. And new COVID cases per 1 million people. Florida winning there as well. And clearly the virus does what the virus does. No lockdowns, no masks, etc. Makes you a winner. Hospitalizations per 1 million people unsurprisingly winning again, in spite of the older population in Florida. Governor DeSantis has played a stormer. He's brought in in September Professor Michael Levitt and professors from Harvard and Stanford who know what they're doing, and that's how he was so successful. Florida versus the top five most populous states, they're doing best in unemployment rate as well, against the white line, which is the national average. And Florida home sales, tricking along nicely. And this one is the final punch in the gut for the lockdown supporters. Florida is the third in the nation for people streaming in, migrating into Florida. And I've heard this from my medical people in Florida as well. Uh, they're inundated with people of means who are flooding there to live normally in a scientific state. So there you have it. Florida wins big and gives us a beautiful Popperian example of evidence against a flawed hypothesis. So lockdown may nudge down the curves, may have some effect, but we see from other data that it will promote strain development and evolution of strains and will cause horrific damage of all other types. So it's the worst single intervention, probably in human history, aiming to improve health. Thank you. And just a reminder that I do need support to continue putting together all of this content and at patreon.com forward slash Ivor Cummins or for PayPal, please see the description below this video or the pinned comment and you can do a one-off or a monthly support. So I'd really appreciate that, guys, and keep me getting the science out there and countering perhaps the more biased corporate type science. Thank you.